Hello, friends. Welcome back to Havron Professional Development Group, and we are on to Microsoft Excel. My name is Samson MLK, and in this video, I will be discussing worksheet basics. In the last video, we talked about cell basics, and we explored the very minute um, characteristics of cells that will, we can um, explore to speed up our work. And so in this video, we'll be looking at the worksheet basics. What properties do they have? What can they do? What can we use them for? How do we use them to improve our work? So we'll be looking at things like creating worksheets. We are going to be grouping them, renaming, moving to another workbook and moving within the same workbook. And then we'll explore the different viewing options, like freeze panes, viewing different windows of the same file. For instance, this is a, a same file. I want to look at this worksheet and at the same time look at this view option sheet. And at the same time, is it possible for me to look at this tree and see what is happening at the same time? We'll be exploring those options, those viewing options. And is it possible for me when I have a very large data like this with several columns and I want to be able to be seeing what is some uh, at the beginning with the end here without necessarily freezing it? Is there a way I can do that? And is there a way I can also be looking at the top things or anywhere in the middle together and comparing them with what is happening at the ground, at the very bottom? So these are the different view options that we will be exploring. And then finally, we will look at creating a, a, a summary sheet. Some of us are involved in um, supervising several states. And then if you have worksheets dedicated to each state and you have several of them, you want to be able to create a, a summary sheet. If you are working in a state and you have several organizations that you are supervising or you're managing, and for each of them you have worksheets dedicated to them, how are you able to link all the sheets into the summary sheet? So we'll be looking at that in this video. All right, so I will just need to start away. And then um, I will start by saying that when you start a new workbook, that workbook will usually come with an empty worksheet, usually sheet one. Now, for instance, I'm going to create a new workbook, and I'm going to do that by hitting Control N, Control N, and then a new workbook opens. Over here, you see it is work, uh, workbook two, all right? Now, you look down here, the tab here that is active is sheet one. So you will see this positive sign here. You can use it to add as many other worksheets that you like. All right, so I'm going to get away from here and then continue with where we are. All right, so one of the things that we can do is that we can rename our worksheets. Actually, I know of two ways. It's either I double click inside here and begin to type or I right click and then pick up the rename uh, option. So when I rename it, it becomes active. You know what I mean? It becomes active for you to edit. Okay. Now, the other thing we need to know is that worksheet, you can move them within this workbook. I can decide to move this one to this point. I can move it to the end. I may decide to pick this view option and bring it to the middle here. All right. Now, when you are creating a new worksheet, whichever sheet that is active, the moment you click this, the new one is inserted just after it. Sometimes you may want to insert a new worksheet at the end here. What you need to do is to click this very one and then you can now click this. If you were viewing this and then you felt, well, I need to insert a new worksheet, we should come to the end here. It won't happen that way. Rather, it will open just between the register 
and the view options like this and then it comes there so you now you will need to manually bring it to the end here if you actually intend for it to be at the very end another way we can move sheets is by right clicking in that sheet that you want to move and then you pick this option move or copy now you have different options right now remember there is a workbook that is open i'm going to move this sheet seven i want to move it into this particular workbook called tutorial if you look at the top there it's the same tutorial all right so i want to move it to come before register the sheet this is the sheet here called register so i am going to move it i have this option here create a copy I'm not going to click this because I don't want a copy right now. So when I click it, it's going to bring it before register. So see what happens. This is my sheet seven. Once I click go, it comes here and it didn't make any copy. Now I can right click here also. I'm still going to pick the same option and I'm going to say, take it to before this. I'm saying before sheet this worksheet basic all right so it's going to appear just after view options however now i want to create a copy all right we know that in a worksheet no two or more worksheet can bear the same name so excel is going to create a second version of this sheet seven and then it will insert it just before this worksheet basics so let's go ahead and see it has brought it at to this point and this is a second version of what we have created so those are the two things you can do there is another thing that we can do i'm going to move this sheet seven the two second version of it to another workbook remember we are working on tutorial worksheet basic that is our book our workbook but i want to move it to a different workbook that is not open right now so what do I do? I have options here. All my active, we all the uh, windows that are opened or that are active, even though we're not viewing them right now, they are listed here. For instance, we have book one, we have book two, and then we have this one that we are currently working on. So I'm going to hit this one. So I am asking Excel now to go ahead, take this uh, sheet seven, the second version of it, take it to book one okay and then i'm not creating a copy that which means this will leave and the moment this happens see what's going to happen let's see what we have here this is my book one see it has come to this point and because i did not create a new i did not copy i did not tick that option of copying it didn't make any copy for me now please i need to send this note of warning there are a lot of things you can do and then you discover it's an error you can undo by Control z or you coming over here and do undo a lot of actions however when you are doing things here at this worksheet basic I mean, uh, tabs whatever you do here you cannot undo it for instance now this sheet seven the second version of it that we moved away from this workbook we cannot undo it no matter what we do now when you remove uh, a worksheet that is so important in what you are doing and you wish you could recall it back all you need to do is to go ahead and close the moment you close it and it asks you do you want to save say no you don't want to save and then it closes and then when you open it, that worksheet that you deleted will be retained. However, if there were other things that you had done before you deleted that sheet and you did not save, that means all those operations, all those things that you did will also be lost. So it is also advisable that as you keep doing things, you keep saving. So let me go ahead and save right now. Okay, so we have discussed about... Um, moving we can also rename like we discussed by double clicking or you right click and choose that uh, your rename option here you can also 
color code your tabs. For instance, this is already color coded red. If I come here, I might decide to put yellow. And then with, you will see a taint of yellow at the background. But the moment I click another sheet that is not, that is, uh, uh, is not act active, it becomes very obvious. Okay, so this is useful sometimes when we have a need to identify specific um, sheets. For instance, I usually use these different codes. When I am working on state um, data, those ones on yellow, I might say, okay, there are a few things I need to confirm on them. Those ones with red, they are the ones with great flags, prone, uh, very uh, um, um, striking errors, okay? And then sometimes when I give green, those ones, I've treated them and they are good to go. All right, so those are the kind of things that you can also apply. So now let's look at the viewing options. And for that, I am going to uh, open this. Now, if you have, this is a very large one, I think it's about 600, okay, over 700, 750, over 750 records, all right? Remember what we did? Hold my control and hit the upward arrow to take me to the very beginning. And then let's see what we got at the left, at the right-hand side. Okay, so there are two, several things I want to view. Number one, I want to be able to see what is happening to this group of people. Let's say, uh, let me uh, give this one green. And then at the very bottom, I want to also see, I want to be able to be seen these two, all right? The green and the yellow, all right? So how do I do it? If I come here and I say I want to freeze my pain, the whole of this will remain fixed. And then I begin to scroll. Well, that is one option, but I don't think it's the best option. There are several ways you can achieve whatever you want to achieve in Excel, but there are smarter ways depending on your choice. So what we need to do is to simply insert a split horizontally here. All right, so I'm going to do this. I have highlighted, I have selected a row, and I'm going to go to my view tab, and I'm going to click split. When I click this split, it has splitted my screen into upper and lower parts. And then at the same time, it has inserted my scroll bars up and down. What it simply did, it was to create a different, it's the same file. Each of these has the beginning and the end. What I mean is, for this one, this is the very first one, and when we scroll down, remember we are still looking at this one, we scroll down, we still also see the very end. Now, let's come to this point. This is the beginning. When we scroll, for, uh, scroll down in this one, we still also see the very end. So splitting your screen helps you to look at two extreme ends and compare values. Okay, so this is very, very handy when you have several records and you really need to look at uh, uh, entries and compare them. So what I did was I, I just came to the middle, not necessarily the middle, but wherever you want, okay? So even this, I can also hold it and drag it and dro drop it here, okay? And we, in which case, I can still bring this one down, okay? So I have just shifted my split. So when you click, uh, 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 you select a row, go straight to view tab, and then hit your split uh, uh, button, and then it splits it. Okay, so I have done this. I agree, this is what, uh, this is also something that will really help us. So let me go ahead and remove that split. Now, I want to be able to see each of these persons here, all right? This is employee. I want to see total that are uh, close to them, or I mean uh, tagged to them. So in which case, I might decide to put a split here, but this time around is vertical. So I come over to the same view tab and then hit my split uh, button. And then I have done, I have inserted a split here, which has also inserted two different screws 
for me, I can screw this one this way. I will see the very end. This is the total. I can also get this to show me the very beginning. Okay? This is the very beginning, which we saw on the other side. So I can quickly and easily cross-check whatever I want to cross-check. Okay? So this is a very good way to view your screen. Okay, so let me go ahead and remove this split. Another uh, fantastic thing that can happen is I may decide to view this thing in four different uh, options. I may decide to insert a split that will break this into four different parts. So in that case, what I need to do is to come here and pick a cell. And then I go there and hit this split. And it brings into four. Each of them is a full-fledged uh, uh, database that we have. Now let's see this. If I scroll up on this, this is the very uh, beginning for this for me. Okay. You can see this is Anderson, which is the first. Even if you look at here, it's the first and it's also taking the second row. All right. So the same thing here. We scroll here. It's going to give us the very last column on this side. All right. So these are wonderful features. I encourage you to go ahead and then uh, explore some of these uh, viewing options. Now, another important view option that we can look at is, I want to be able to, now I have three, um, I have three workbooks open. This workbook one and workbook two. And I can actually view these three at the same time. So what do I need to do? I simply go to my view, okay, and I'm going to ask it to arrange. I usually like tile arrangement. So when I click this, it's supposed to give me all of them, three together. Okay, so let me use this. Arrange all. Now, it has given me this. This is one. This is two. All right? This is workbook one. Now, let me look at this workbook two. Let me click all, array, and, uh, all the tile. You see that all the three are now appearing, depending on what I want to see. Now, this becomes very, very useful when you have one particular file that you, need, you are working on and you want to view different sheets. Let me explain further. So I am going to close this. This is my workbook one. I don't need to make any save. Don't save, right? And then here, let me click, uh, delete this. I mean, uh, close this. I don't want to save. All right. So let me open this now. This is the only file that is open, right? I want to be able to view, at least for now, this view option and this worksheet. All right. Is there anything that we hear? Okay. So let's say we want to view these two together. Register and view options. I want to see them side by side. Remember, there is no other workbook that is open here. This is the only one. So what I need to do is I need to come back to my view, but I'm going to create a copy. I'm going to create a copy of this. Not the copy that you save as a different file, but it's one that you can view from a different window. Now, note the, note the name of this. At the top here is Tutorial on worksheet basics. So the moment I click here, it's going to change. You see at the top there, we have one and we have two. So we are currently viewing two. Now when I go to my view option, this is my view, and I say switch window, look at the two that are active. So I can switch to any one of them. Currently we are viewing two, that's why you see two up there. Now right now when I click this one, I'm going to see one. As you can see there, there is one there. Now, I'm going to now apply what we learned uh, just a while ago by arranging and tile. Two of them are open. It's the same file, but I've simply created a new window of that same file because I want to be able to view here. So I'm viewing the register now. And on this part, I am viewing these viewing options. Note that whatever you do here will apply here. Say, for instance, here, 
I am deciding now to change this to Bainway. All right. The moment I open here, I'm viewing this number two now, and I click here, it has changed to Bainway also. To let you know that it's the same file. And if you go ahead to close anyone now, you will not be asked whether you want to save until you are closing the very last one that is open, the last version of it, of that window. So it's the same thing. If you, I want to view three, I can also go ahead here and click new window. So when I click new window, I need to have that option here. If when I click new window, the next window that is going to come is three. Here is one, here is two, all right? So these are different view options that are available for us to speed off what we are doing. And I know that sometimes if you want to, if you want me to look at and compare what is happening up with the, what, what is happening down below, it takes, a, it takes a while. And sometimes you may need to apply manual means of doing your comparison. But I believe that this uh, 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 um, viewing options will really help. Another viewing option that we will want to talk about is the freeze panes. All right, so when you open these free panes, there are three different uh, options that you can apply. Now, the first one is to freeze the column and the row. This is the top row. This is a column. Whichever column you want and whichever row you want, you can apply that. All right. So let me uh, remove this field, go back to my home, open here, no field. Then I think I have uh, a field down there. I click and hold all this and I say no field. Right. Control and, control and up arrow. So it takes us to the very top again. Now, if I want to see what is happening on my right hand side, but I want to keep this column A, where I have my employees. I want it to be static, I want it to be fixed, I want to freeze it. So I come here simply here and I click here and I go to my view, then go to my freeze pane. I apply the first one, which means whatever that is above where I have selected and whatever that is after what I have selected will be frozen. So when I click this, I scroll this way, the employee name uh, column is frozen. When I scroll downward, those at the upper, the header, they are frozen. Now let me unfreeze. Assuming I want this column, this column, this column to be active, to be um, fixed. I want them to be visible while I keep scrolling. And at the same time, I want uh, only this to remain visible. So I come here. This is strategy because it's coming before these other three columns that I want to remain uh, visible. And then here, I go ahead and apply the same thing. The same thing happens. When I scroll down, it's there. When I scroll this way, all the three columns are fixed. Right, so that is one option. Now, let's look at the other options. Now, assuming something happened here, maybe this is a, uh, a record that is of interest to you, and you want all these ones to be hidden, and you want only this one. So, if this is the one I want to remain uh, visible, all I need to do is to scroll and push it to that very point, good. And then, I can now come here, irrespective of wherever it, that is selected, come to this point and open my freeze pane, and I'm going to freeze the top uh, row. I click this. When I begin to scroll, that, is, that point remains visible. So that is another thing you need to know. Meanwhile, I did not apply any uh, freeze instruction on the column. So if, I, if you scroll this way, the columns will continue to move and go in there. All right, so that is the second uh, option. This, also, the third option is you want to freeze only a column. You are not freezing the row. The one we just did a while ago, 
was just to freeze only the row. We didn't freeze column. But right now, we want to see if we want to freeze only column without freezing a row. Then you ask, the question is, which row, which column do you want to freeze? Now, assuming we want to be seeing what is happening on the dates, this is the one that we want to freeze. All I need to do is to push it, let it be the very last one there. And then irrespective of wherever I, I click, and click here, I can click here, it doesn't matter. The important thing is that I have brought this one to the very last uh, one before the row headers. So I come here and I click here. All right, so when I scroll this way, that point remains visible, okay? So I think the final thing that we want to do right now is to see what we can do about grouping. And then from grouping, we'll now create our summary sheet. Great. Now, uh, I am going to move this one to the very beginning here. So I'm going to do this, move, take it to the end. I'm not making any copy. I hit and it comes here. Now, right now, assuming I am managing six states. So I am going to create one, two, three, four, five, six. Now I have, okay, this is the one that was there before. All right, so let's go ahead and delete this one. You see, it didn't ask me if I want to save. The reason is that there is no content there. You haven't done anything on it. But if I was to delete this, if I right click and say, I want to delete, because there is something that has happened here, is asking, do you want to save or you, you want to permanently delete this? So do you want to continue permanently? That's what it says. Well, I say, forget. All right, so this is what we want to do now. These are the different states. All right, so like I say, I'm going to double click and write state one. Okay, so uh, let me copy this. All right, so I'm hitting this, pasting this state two. State three, state four, state five. I said I, I'm covering state six states. Good. So I want to be able to apply this register or summary form across because it is the same thing that they are all reporting. So what I need to do is, I'm going to copy this. I have selected this. So what I have done now is selecting the entire spreadsheet. I have copied it. You can see the dash lines here. I simply did Control C. I have copied it. Now I want to paste it across this, but I want to do it at the same time. Now when you look at the top of our this thing there. It is uh, here, you see, this is a tutorial. That is the name. And there is nothing else there. But I am going to group because I want to do this at the same time. So my state one worksheet is active. I am holding down my shift button and I'm going to click the last one. They are all selected. And then when you look at the top here, you see it is grouped. All right. Tutorial worksheet basics group so when you see this group it means that more than one cell have been selected together and whatever you do right now is going to be duplicated across so what do i do when i select this i've also selected all the group all these uh, 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 sheets that are grouped together then let me hit enter when i hit enter what i have copied will uh, will drop here. Okay, it looks as if we did something before, I mean, after we copied. Let's see. Okay, the copy is still there. So let's go ahead and still hold our control and do this. We have selected this. I should ha have them. What happened? Let's see.
this is Control C. And I want it all here. You see this? Okay, this is not pasting. So let me see if it has to do with this. Let me remove this and see. Okay, so I copy this again. I click this, holding down my shift button. I click the very last one. Okay, let me hit the control. Okay. What could be the problem? I'm supposed to have uh, been able to paste it. What's the problem? All right, so let me undo that and get back my...